was a warm evening by the river of Kasai, Africa. Sadie was going to bring in some water, when... Thunder was heard, the clouds turned black, the beat of bone drums was heard, and Sadie was bending into the water, looked up and said, Holy Mother of all creation, what is going on? I must be going mad. She stood up and was about to turn when a mysterious woman appeared. She seemed beautiful, but there was nothing human in her face. Sadie stared, open mouth. Who, who, who are you? I am life and death. I am grief and joy. I am something you mortals will not understand. But follow me and you will see. Come, my child. Without a thought, she stepped forward. She disappeared a heartbeat later. From the corner of a bush, Fatima stared as everything went to hell. She jumped out from the bush and ran toward the riverbank, where Sadie was a minute ago. Sadie! Sadie! The woman appeared. Her smile was vicious and cruel as she began singing. I am Mommy Wata, your worst nightmare. Do not disturb me again. But, but, but why? You want your sister back, then answer this riddle. There are those who seek me a lifetime, but never we meet. And those I kiss, but who trample beneath my ungrateful feet. At times I seem to favor the clever and the fair, but I bless all those who are brave enough to dare. By large my ministrations, and soft-handed and sweet, but scorn I become a difficult beast to defeat. For each of my strikes, land a powerful blow. When I kill, I do it slow. Fatima blinked, lost and confused. And I am supposed to answer this. You got until the next full moon to answer. Should you fail, you die. It was dusk when Fatima arrived home. By then, a search party began for her and her sister. Look, there she is! We found Fatima! Where is my other daughter? I don't know, mommy. I didn't see her. <laughs> Where is she? Oh no. She tossed and turned that way. What did the riddle even mean? It doesn't even make any sense. She counted the days until the next full moon. One day? It's tomorrow! Holy mother. That was the catch, wasn't it? How am I supposed to answer it? In one day? Hmm. Difficult place to defeat. Had to be a disease then. She was still repeating the riddle when she fell asleep. After hours of nightmares, Fatima woke up. That old hag thinks she can get the best of me. Well, I'll show her. She carefully dressed up, had a bit of breakfast, and left. For her sister, she was going to answer the riddle. For her sister, she was going to face Mummy Wata. After half an hour of walking, Fatima reached her dreaded destination. When she arrived, Mummy Wata was already there. Have you got the answer, mortal? <laughs> Ignoring the insult, she stepped forward. I do. The answer is a disease. Mommy Water's smirk was cruel and brutal. No! I thought you would get it. <laughs> Too bad your sister won't see you choke to death. <laughs> Something pushed Fatima violently into the mud and Mommy Water left. As Fatima struggled against the weight, a soft voice whispered in her head. Why do you want your sister back? Curse you, because I love her, obviously. And what brings other people together? Love. She had enough strength to turn around and scream. The answer to the riddle is love. Mommy Water began screaming and blinding light erupted from her. And then a familiar female replaced her. She had enough time to whisper, Sadie, before she fainted. She awoke in her bedroom, coughing, and Sadie ran over to her. Is it really you, Sadie? It's okay, Fatima, it's okay. To this day, neither Fatima nor Sadie remember Mommy Wata, and they lived happily for the rest of their lives.
Thank you.